Hey guys, Major Frenchy. Here I have a weird apparatus. It's uh, actually to hold the slingshot assembly. Uh, I'm going to replace my left and right slingshot that I had thunderclaps with this. The thunderclaps are not loud enough for a slingshot, so I'm going to replace my slingshots with two of these. Now the principle is real simple. Um, this is the assembly and the way it works, I'm going to just take this out a minute just to show you. When the power is applied, this arm goes down and you simply hear the clicking noise. Now you can see that there's the middle arm that's moving, which is why I have the little cut in the middle of the board here. So what I have is a uh, one half a small piece of wood, just about the size of the slingshot. I have a piece of three quarter, which is at the front which I got glued, this is just gonna slide right into it. So it's sliding in and then the bottom is supported. So what I did is I kind of just took a piece of wood and I went around where the coil is and I just used my bandsaw just to cut and trim this out. Drilled some small hole, I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to screw that and it's not gonna move at all. So it is now mounted. I got the screws on top. It's pretty solid. Originally in a pinball, they're designed to work on 50 volts. Now, if it works on 24 volts, I'm gonna keep it because I'm already wired uh, to 24 volts for that thunderclap. So if I don't have to change the wire, that'd be great. All right, I'm on 24 volts. Let's hear this. It sounds really, really great. And there's a second one. Okay, I'm done mounting the uh, slingshot. And just in case you're wondering if it will fit with the screen, yes, it does. Uh, I actually can fit a hand between the screen and the uh, slingshot. I connected it with 24 volts. It's designed to work with 50, but it triggers at 24 and it is actually loud enough. So I got my slingshot on port one and two. Let's hear it. Oh my God. So I just blew a fuse. Um, I had a two amp fuse for the thunderclaps and this is using more. I've got the slingshot here and I've got the, the current basically traveling at 24 volts and let's see how much it uses. You hold it, so it's very near 2 amps, and it probably just went above the 2 amp and it actually blew the fuse. So I'm going to uh, replace it with a 3 amp. Always go a little above the amperage to make sure that the fuse doesn't blow. I mean, if the fuse blow, it's not the end of the world. That's why it's there, to protect. So I'm going to pick a 3 amp fuse. This is the fuse for port number 1. I'm gonna pop that out. And we're gonna pop the uh, three amp in there. And we're gonna do the same thing for number two, which we haven't tried yet. So let's be proactive. And let's put the three amp fuse in there. All right, so we should be good now. So I forgot actually to uh, record the slingshot, the second one. I had issues with the fuse and I forgot, but uh, I got the screen back on and here what it looks like. Sounds really good. So that's gonna be our slingshot. So I'm going to get some gameplay. Uh, the pinball is still in the uh, workshop because I'm not done yet, and before I move it to my game room, I want to be completely finished. I'm going to do some gameplay for you guys. This is the uh, At Games Legends Pinball stock. If you watched my previous video, I got the sound separately on the side, on the back box, and but the rest works 
just as intended. So let's just show you quickly. Now, in this environment, all I'm going to get is my flippers, which because they're direct solenoids, and I have a tutorial for this uh, using the Cleveland software uh, direct solenoid. So it uses the uh, 15 and a half inch screen of the Legends pinball. I'm going to switch to OTG, which means now I'm using my computer. All right. So what I need to do is activate the VIBS, which is basically this. It turns it into um, another monitor that's supported by Windows. So it needs a special board provided by Ad Games. I got a tutorial for that one as well, if you guys want to look it up. So now what I'm going to do is just a little bit of gameplay. I want you to hear the thunderclap and the new slingshot assembly that I've got from Stern. <laughs> Oh, yes. Nice. I like this because this table, when the ball actually kicks out at the plunger level, it is the slingshot noise that we hear. It's fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. So for those of you who are actually wondering if it's worth it, <laughs> absolutely. Guys, invest in those slingshot assembly. Uh, they're available like Pinball Life and their Marco specialties. They work super well on 24 volts. Uh, actually, 40 volts would probably, or even 50, would probably be too much. I'm very happy with this. If you got questions, you can visit the uh, virtual pinball chat on Discord. Come and say hi, and we will actually answer your question. If you want to be helpful, you can become one of the regular that helps other people. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.